In the upcoming pivotal national elections this year, the ANC is set to once again leverage President Cyril Ramaphosa's popularity, much akin to its strategy in the 2019 general elections. Mdumisen Intuli, the ANC's head of elections, disclosed in an interview with the media last week that internal polling data indicates Ramaphosa's continued popularity surpasses that of the ruling party itself. Ntuli revealed that another internal poll is anticipated by the end of the month to gouge whether Ramaphosa retains his status as the most popular figure in politics. The preceding poll reportedly presented to the National Executive Committee late last year underscored Ramaphosa's popularity exceeding that of the ANC as the organization. Ntuli remarked, and I quote, I don't think that we'll see what comes out of the end of February, but my... But my sense is that President Ramaphosa is still polling better than all other party presidents in the country. While acknowledging the dissatisfaction with the ANC's performance, Ntuli emphasized that there isn't a glaring alternative leadership option to that present by the ANC. He highlighted, and I quote, I do think that that on its own becomes an advantage for the ANC that our own leadership is polling better than the rest of the leaders in the country, end of quote. However, Ntuli conceded that the initial Ramaphoria observed during the early years of Ramaphosa's presidency have waned. In retrospect, in 2019, Fikile Mbalula, Ntuli's predecessor, admitted that the ANC capitalized on Ramaphosa's popularity to secure its majority, albeit nar narrowly. Mbalula suggested that the party would have garnered only 40% of the vote in the national election if Ramaphosa had not emerged victorious in the party's Nasrid leadership. Contrary to findings from an external poll conducted by the Social Research Foundation in November revealed that former President Thabo Mbeki enjoyed higher popularity within the ANC rather than Ramaphosa. Ntuli asserted again, and I quote, The standing of the president in KwaZulu Natal today is far better than it was in 2019, end of quote. He attributed this shift to the departure of Zuma, who wielded significant influence in the region. In anticipation to the ANC's manifesto launch, the party seeks to gouge Ramaphosa's resonance with voters in Kozumi Natal, a region historically challenging due to Zuma's presence. Ntuli expressed optimism, stating, and I quote, Given the way in which we were able to pull the rally we had, makes me feel that it should not be difficult for us to pull the same kind of rally and even about that. End quote. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section below and stay tuned for more updates.